Good morning, good afternoon and good evening, whatever time zone you're in. Welcome to a very special iteration of the Chainsaw Files. This time we have a look at yet another product of Lone Groove Audio, the Six Hammer EQ. If this is your first video of mine, go watch my Chainsaw Files I did about the left hand breath to find out more about Joe and his company. Links in the description. The 6 Hammer EQ is based on the famous SEC consoles EQ as used in the Sunlight Studios. So this is another piece of the puzzle that might help you to achieve the ultimate chainsaw sound you're lusting after. It is basically an EQ pedal that comes with 6 knobs. I wonder why that is. Before we look at the functionality of each of them, let's see how the EQ curve looks like with everything set to noon. So let's open span. This is definitely no normal pink noise, so this is not a neutral EQ, but should it be? The low and high knobs are both shelf EQs and boost everything below 120Hz and 2kHz respectively. The ultra mid and the mid knobs are regular bands with their center frequencies at 500Hz for the mid and 800Hz for the ultra mid. Low frag and high frag are actually variable, you can change where the band is at. Low frag ranges from 2 kHz at 0 over 3 kHz at noon to 10 kHz when cranked. High frag ranges from 220 Hz at 0 over 300 Hz at noon to 900 Hz at 9. When you crank it to max, however, you get an enormous boost at 4 kHz and an additional boost at 20 kHz. So the names may be a little confusing. Joe suggests that you use this pedal in front of the amp and after the HM2. But let's check it out in the FX loop as well.
I fell in love with this pedal, although some of you might find it disappointing and I'm totally okay with this. As soon as I plugged it into my clean signal chain, it gave my sound so much more depth and I had more control over my tone as well. The EQ works efficiently and I can tweak it to my likings. The same goes for the combination with an HM2, regardless the amp. After playing for a while and then turning it off, the sound suddenly felt hollow, as if it were missing something. So you have to be careful with this pedal. Once you're including it to your signal chain, you won't want to remove it anymore. But, I have to admit, it didn't give me much without the HM2 and the driven sound. The EQ felt very subtle except both mid controls and I'm sure you don't need it in this tonal context. But you should absolutely consider getting one to refine your chainsaw. Plus, it's a total sleeper for clean tones. As for me, the Six Hammer will be used regularly in my studio. And that's all for today. If you'd like to support this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like this video and share it with your friends, if you have any. You can also leave a comment with a question or suggestion or whatever. Thank you for watching, may the force be with you and have a nice day. Joe suggests... Joe suggests...